Hello guys, welcome back to another update here. I want to start covering Bitcoin and Ethereum and then I want to cover the macro outlook as well because I do think we have a lot to discuss regarding the macro outlook of this market. So first I want to start here on the daily time frame on the log scale as we spoke about. On the non-log we can see here we had the small bounce of this pitchfork here but then we broke below and right now we're aiming for the log scale but as we can see here on the daily Bitcoin has broken through this uh, pitchfork and usually for this big time frame pitchfork for price to break through it is very very and uh, uncommon so for me this is a very big warning signal i do think we're due head for lower unless we can get a week here in the next seven hours <clears throat> and close above this median line in that case this pitchfork will be valid but for now it does look like there's a lot of selling pressure overall i have some uh supply zone down here at 58,000, which is going to be a target then we have down here a massive supply zone at 52 52,000. I don't think we're going to go so low, but it all depends because if we come here on Ethereum, Ethereum has just hit our pitchfork that we're talking about yesterday here at 2,800. So if you come here, zoom in here on the four hour, so we can see Ethereum has been respecting the pitchforks really, really good so far. So I do expect Ethereum to bounce here. If we don't bounce here, that will be really, really bad. And that will just show that there's a heavy, heavy selling pressure because for pitchforks in on these type of time frames to get disrespected, uh, is very very uncommon and i see this happening on a lot of altcoins right now that's why i really want to talk about the overall market market sentiment um overall you, you you know guys that i've been having this as a macro target on this pitchfork here so i want to talk here a bit more about the macro outlook so we can see here from the previous bull market we had the pitchfork to the all-time highs to the recent lows and uh even though uh, I did say this is not going to be the top, I still think we're going to go higher. We have to consider that this might uh, be a local top and we're now going to correct lower. I'm just uh, t like, uh, want to give you guys a different perspective of the market. I'm still bullish here. I'm not somehow uh, turning bearish, but we have to reconsider that we might even go sideways or go lower here for the next few weeks before we can get any move to the upside. So if we can see here in my Discord, it was back in Feb 2nd of February, uh, one of my first posts I ever posted in my Discord was this pitchfork here, and I called the top here. Uh, I said, yeah, I do believe this can be the bull, bull run top, and that's exactly what has happened. We have come here, and once we hit the uh, median line here, we actually uh, stalled, and since then we've only gone down. And I'm not trying to claim in any way that I have called the top because later on I did switch my target to this low here. And I said, I do believe this median line here is going to be the top. And I still believe it's possible. But I just see so many signs here that this market is still very uh, immature. Uh, it's not mature enough. We still have more si more uh, sideways to go. Also here on my Twitter that we had here, uh, we also called this pitchfork as well. So we said this is going to be a big local top. So from the same lows here to the highs to the recent lows, this is the normal one. So we can see the same pattern here if we go on the normal original and if we go away on the log scale, let me just switch the lows. So we're using the lows down here. So we can see here similarly, this pitchfork, the same one, but we're just using the original. So we can see here exactly the same algorithms have been selling. So I still have a feeling over overall that there's a lot of selling pressure in this market and it really need to be cautious. Even though we had this as an Elliott wave count, um, so one, two, three, four, and we're still expecting the fifth wave. Uh, so on the weekly time frame, nothing really has changed. We're still in this massive fourth wave here, but we need to be prepared, especially for the altcoins. We can see here, Bitcoin is only down, uh, I think, I do believe from the all-time highs, we're only down like 15%. And most of these altcoins, let's say we look at Brett, these meme coins, look how they're looking. Uh, or WIF, for example. WIF was one of my favorite uh, meme coins. It's just completely, we had a pump here, then it's just, look at these uh, red selling candles, or we can, uh, check for example on Floki. Look at the daily time frame selling candles. This is not normal uh, bull market behavior. So we really need to be cautious here because I still think these altcoins are not worth trying to trade to the upside anymore. The 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 selling pressure is just too heavy. And I do believe when we see the meme coins selling off like this, this is usually a sign that retail is going out of the markets. Because who's holding usually meme coins? It's retail traders. It's traders, me and you basically that are trading this. The banks, they are in Bitcoin. So we see a lot of institutions buying up here. So I do believe they're buying for longer term uh, hold. That's why they're not down. People are saying institutions are buying the top. I really don't believe this is gonna be the top because institutions are here buying. 
but we, can, we have a lot of uh, selling pressure here. So we might even come down and test the 0 0.31 again, because this is the first time I see a pitchfork like this getting completely disrespected by Bitcoin. Unless we can get a week here in the next seven hours, which is going to be quite hard because we need to bounce uh, at the, around 1.5% in just a few hours. So time have to show, but I'm just saying that overall, <clears throat> this price action that we're seeing here, this is not bull market price action, in my opinion. So we really need to be cautious here. I, I still think we need more time here to continue sideways. I see some people calling for this uh, demand zone down here at 52K, which is not out of the picture, but it would be lower than 0.31 Fibonacci. That's why in my personal opinion, I doubt we'll go that low because this would mean we'd have to break uh, this Fib level and, and come down here. So overall, I'm still holding my Elliott Wave analysis like this. Uh, for now, I still think we might just <coughs> continue to chop here back and forth. On Ethereum, I'm a bit more worried because, as I said, we're sitting right now on this median line. If we come here in the four hour, we can four hour we can see it more clearly. We have uh, gotten a few weeks here. We can also check the volume. Oh, the volume looks here on Coinbase. The volume is not that high, but of course it's Sunday as well, so probably that's why. But if we come here on the weekly time frame on Ethereum, I don't like these lows we're having here. So. It's very rare we will see so many lows form next to each other. So I do think we're probably going to get a relief rally here on Ethereum, a small bounce. But I do expect for Ethereum to take out these lows at some point. And we also have this uh, 0.31 lower on Ethereum. So I would really like to see Ethereum coming down here if we go on the log scale. I'd really like to see Ethereum right now come down here at 2700. Uh, earlier, I was looking if we could correlate with the pitchfork here uh, at the 0 0.31. So if you take from the highs to the lows to the recent highs, if we could have uh, correlated here, but we can see Ethereum hit the pitchfork too early. So this is not a uh, price I like, price action I, I don't like. I only want to trade really high probability setups. And if we come on the weekly, I just don't see how Ethereum would buy, bounce from here without hitting the 0 0.31. So this would also line up with the same uh, outlook like on Bitcoin that we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this would be, have exact same patterns. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, Ethereum coming down, hitting the 0 0.31 at 2,701 before then we continue to the upside. So this is something I could see playing out right now. Regarding uh, meme coins, I don't really have a stance. I do think most of them need to go down. Just seeing this type of pressure, this is not short selling. This is just people getting out of the market. We see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red days in a row. Uh, this is not something you want to see. Even on Solana, we can see here, we actually call the resistance here of this pitchfork for those who are in my telegram. We can see Solana in one week is down uh, from the highs. 30%. This is not bullish uh, price action at all. So what all I'm saying is it's good to be cautious here in the market. I'm not flipping bearish in any way. I still believe we're going to get this uh, blow off top before we top. And even though we can see the institutions are, buy institutions are buying here. So it would be very strange if the bear market would start here while institutions have been buying uh, up here. But it just uh, goes to say that, I, as I've been saying during my this whole this whole year, basically, there's too much retail in the market and too many altcoins. Uh, I remember when I was saying I do believe that we're going to have 88 or max 100k target. I was getting a lot of backlash. People were saying that we're going to go at least to 200, 300k. When you see this type of comments, you know there's too many retail traders in the market that need to go away. And for them, one way for them to go away is for the meme coins to go away, in my opinion, and most of the altcoins. And that's when we can get the rally to the upside. Lastly, we can check here the Bitcoin dominance chart. As we've been saying, we're probably going to go higher to around 58%. And that's what we're doing. We can see here how uh, when the altcoins are going down, we can see here Bitcoin continues uh, to dominate the market. And I do believe for us to get any kind of relief rally for altcoins, we need to at least hit 58.2% uh, dominance uh, Bitcoin across the market. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm not saying if the alt season is going to start, but I do believe that that's when we can get any type of relief rally for altcoins. For now, it does look bearish. Even though Ethereum is sitting as support here, we might get one more leg down to 2,700. This would, for me, be a high quality trade at 2,700. Even this pitchfork here that we're having on Ethereum currently, I'm a bit, a bit skeptic about it because we have so much liquidity below us. So even though I'm currently long Ethereum, to be honest with you guys, come here on the log scale, uh, on the normal scale, I'm long Ethereum, but I do I don't expect this to be the low. I do think we can continue higher. 
then come down here to 2000, 2700 before then we get the real push to the upside. So I hope I made my views clear to you guys. Make sure to follow my Twitter. I am quite active here for those who are interested in daily uh, updates and so on and charts. Uh, otherwise, please smash the likes and see you again, guys, tomorrow.